Well, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fula, your number one in this game. Welcome to the latest trending news. This is The Buzz UG. And um, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Queen Elizabeth II has died at the age of 96 years. Elizabeth peacefully passed on last evening in her home, Balmore Castle, that is in Scotland. We will meet again. Queen Elizabeth took the throne in 1952 and uh, she has reigned for 70 years. According to reports, Queen Elizabeth has been the longest British reigning monarch. She has been our longest ever reigning monarch. It's an extraordinary achievement to have presided with such dignity and grace for 70 years. Her, la her life of service stretched beyond most of our living memories. In return, she was loved and admired by the people in the United Kingdom and all around the world. She has been a personal inspiration to me and to many Britons. Her devotion to duty is an example to us all. Earlier this week, at 96, she remained determined to carry out her duties as she appointed me as her 15th Prime Minister. Throughout her life, she's visited more than 100 countries and she has touched the lives of millions around the world. In the difficult days ahead, we will come together with our friends across the United Kingdom, the Commonwealth and the world to celebrate her extraordinary lifetime of service. Well, that's the newly appointed UK Prime Minister Elizabeth Truss speaking about Queen Elizabeth. Right here in Uganda, very many celebrities have dropped in condolence messages on their social media platforms. But musician Kapakat has been attacked by a section of Ugandans after she put up a statement that felt like she's celebrating the death of Queen Elizabeth. Kapakat said, For the first time in my life, I'm richer than Queen Elizabeth. I have life. Rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. I don't know what you think about this statement, but some people are not happy with Kapakat because of that statement right there. Anyway, may Queen's soul rest in peace. Congratulations to Princess Komontari Akiki of Toro. She has given birth to a baby boy called Jamar Matthew Adieri. According to Best Kemigisa, the Queen Mother of Toro, baby Matthew is the first grandchild in their family. I know this is very good news to the Kingdom of Toro. Congratulations, Komontari. A famous radio presenter, Rebecca Jingo from Beat FM, last evening lost her mother in that video right there. She confirmed this sad news on her social media platforms. For those of you who do not know Rebecca Jingo, she started as a musician in the early 2000s. That was before she joined the media industry. Bambi, may her mother's soul rest in peace. Suna Ben has officially joined NBS TV. According to other sources from NBS, Precious Remy from Spark TV is also on the way to join NBS TV. However, we haven't known exactly what they will be doing right there, but that's the latest news coming in from that side of Naguru. Congratulations to you, Suna Bain and uh, Precious Remy. Wishing you all the best. The Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk, yesterday revealed that there is a plot to assassinate her, a revelation that left fellow members of Parliament astonished. I have got an assassination report wanting to assassinate me. Oh. Yes! Now, the Speaker also revealed that there are some bad people trailing her with a mission to end her life. Yes, up to now. Madam Speaker. My car is still followed up to now. Madam. And whoever thinks he's going to assassinate Anita, I was put in this chair by God. And if, if anybody wants, may I have my village to go to. I was put in this chair by God and I will serve until I get tired. 
However, the Prime Minister, Right Honorable Robin Anambanja, assured her of enough security and as government vowed to deal with anyone who tampers with the security of Uganda. We are always praised for the security of this country. And anybody who tampers with the security of this country will be dealt to us. The Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Honorable Nobat Mao, has a proposal that the next president of Uganda should be elected by parliament, starting with the coming 2026 presidential elections. Last week, Honorable Nobat Mao had a meeting with the executive members of the NRM group called Transformer Kadas Association of Uganda, and he revealed to them a proposal to amend the constitution of Uganda so that the president can be elected by parliament. But Ugandans are very angry after landing on this information and most of them are saying that is why the culture of insulting government officials on social media will never end because that's the only way Ugandans can fully put out their feelings. Tamale Mirundi has revealed that he's behind the abduction of Suleiman Jakana Naduli, a son to Major Haj Abdul Naduli, former minister without portfolio in the cabinet of Uganda. Jakana was recently abducted by unknown people and up to now, no one knows his whereabouts. Tamale Mirundi, while appearing on STV Uganda, revealed that he told security operatives to arrest Jakana because he's being used to abuse President Museveni. Now that we know the person behind the abduction of Jakana, we hope that Uganda police will summon Tamale Mirundi and explain more about this matter. But also, a big section of Ugandans are wondering why Uganda police is not speaking about this other round of abductions going on in the country. In the past few weeks, there have been reports indicating that Ugandans are stranded in the Arab countries, especially Dubai, and they have been calling upon government to rescue them, but government hadn't reacted. As you can see in that video, those are some Ugandans in Dubai calling upon the Ugandan government to come to their rescue. Now, yesterday, the Ministry of Gender revealed that a total of 452 Ugandans are waiting deportation from Dubai and other cities in the United Arab Emirates. However, we haven't confirmed when these Ugandans will arrive in the country. But that's the latest information coming in from the Ministry of Gender. <music> Well, there you go. Thank you so much for watching till the end of these stories that I got for you this morning. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, your number one in this game. And uh, do not forget to subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.